Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into something a little radioactive, figuratively of course. Growing up, I used to think Lake Anna was just a cool spot for fishing and boating until I learned it is basically a bathtub for a nuclear power plant. Yep, the Lake Anna power plant or North Anna nuclear generating station, if you're being fancy, has been humming away since the 1970s. In this video, we're talking its history, safety record, some wild myths, and whether nuclear power is going to glow up in the future. Stick around and let's get started. So picture this. It's the late 1960s and Virginia Electric and Power Company, VEPCO, now Dominion Energy, decides, hey, let's build a nuclear power plant. Construction kicked off in 1971, and by 1978, Unit 1 was online. Unit 2 followed in 1980. But here's the wild part. They needed a giant pool of water to cool this beast. So they dammed up the North Anna River, and bam, Lake Anna was born. Now here's what's really cool. 13,000 acres of farms and forests drowned to make a nuclear hot tub. Today, it powers about 450,000 homes, basically the whole of Richmond area and beyond. Not bad for a lake that's half cooling and half vacation spot, right? Now let's talk safety, because I know what you're thinking. Nuclear, it's risky, right? Well, Dominion says this place is built like a tank. It's got layers of safety systems, auto shutdowns, and supposedly can handle earthquakes, hurricanes, and tornadoes. Case in point, August 2011, a 5.8 magnitude earthquake hits epicenter only 11 miles away. The plant shuts down automatically, diesel generators kick in, and spoiler alert, everything is fine. The Nuclear Regulatory Commission gave it a green light to restart right after inspections. So yeah, it's tough. Actually, it's, it's tougher than me when Melanie talks me into using tweezers to try to pluck my eyebrows. I don't, I don't even see how women can endure that kind of pain. Okay, time to bust some myths. Because nuclear power gets a bad rap from movies. And let's be honest, if your generation grew up seeing Three Mile Island and Chernobyl incidents, that didn't leave too good of a feeling about nuclear in your mind. But just think about it. We have Navy ships and nuclear power plants all over the world without incident. Yes, and I know some will say Fukushima, but I don't think we're in threat of a tidal wave here at Lake Anna. Nuclear is one of the cleanest, safest forms of energy we have. I did the research before moving here and personally wouldn't have moved my family to a place I felt was unsafe. So let's get into the myths. Myth number one, it'll blow up like a bomb. Nope, reactors don't have the right stuff, literally. Truly don't have the materials or the composition for that to happen. Myth number two, it's leaking radiation everywhere. Truth is, you get more radiation from a banana than standing near this nuclear power plant for a year. Myth number three, it's trashing the environment. Actually, it's super clean. No greenhouse gases during operation. Compare that to coal or gas. It's like the eco-warrior of energy. So next time someone says nuclear is the villain, tell them to just chill out a little bit. It's not glowing green and turning fish into mutants. Myth number four, Lake Anna's water is so radioactive from the North Anna plant that swimming in it gives people superpowers. This is pure fantasy. Lake Anna's water is not radioactive in any way that affects any swimmers. As far as superpowers, I've been swimming in the lake trying to gain these superpowers for some time and haven't gotten any, at least yet. Again, the reality is nuclear is heavily monitored, regulated, and Dominion Energy is dedicated to making sure that all the citizens and the environment around the plant are safe. Real people work at this plant, and they live in this area with their families. They have a vested interest in the safety. So what's next for Lake Anna? The plant's licenses just got extended to 2058 and 2060. Plenty of juice left in those reactors. There was talk about a third unit, but Dominion hit pause in 2017. Something about gas being cheaper and, you know, $19 billion being a lot of cash. But here's the cool part. They're eyeing SMRs, small modular reactors. Think many nuclear plants, safer, cheaper, and maybe popping up here by 2030. Nuclear is gaining positive momentum, and it's clean, reliable, and maybe powering our flying cars someday. Maybe not that last one, but you never know. I mean, Google just said their Willow quantum chip just communicated with the multiverse. So who knows what's possible? So that's the scoop on the Lake Anna power plant. From its river to lake origin story to debunking glow-in-the-dark fishtails, it's a fascinating piece of Virginia's energy puzzle. 
If you found this information helpful, do us a favor and hit the like, subscribe, and notification button so you never miss one of our videos. Oh, by the way, there was a safety report that was over 1,400 pages done in 2023. We have broken this down into a small, understandable, free download for you. Just email me at the information below and we'll send you a copy of it. Until next time, stay curious. Don't blame me or the lake if you start glowing after this video. See ya.